Joining us now is Paris Dennard, the senior advisor for Black Media Affairs at the Republican National uh, Committee. So, Paris, really quick, before we kind of get into the issues a little bit, we've seen the White House over the past couple days take more extreme measures than they have over the past week. Uh, what do you think so far of the administration's response? Do you think that they're going in the right direction? I am proud to see the response of this administration. We have seen decisive action from the president Early on, uh, going back to January, as he repeatedly tells the American people and reminds the media who seems to forget this important fact that by limiting or prohibiting travel from China back in January while they were trying to impeach him, he was trying to keep the health and safety of the American people uh, at the forefront of this government. And so by doing that and then taking the necessary steps that he has done, especially with this important uh, legislation that he just signed last night, he is reassuring the American people with the team that he's gathered, with the team of experts, that taking decisive but also measured responses to keep the American people safe is the best tactic to, to, to go about. But in addition to that, the president is showing the American people that he is understanding and listening to their uh, their needs, our needs. Uh, small business owners, uh, employers are all we're in a panic. But now the calm is coming because they're, they're being reassured that the government and this administration is fully behind them. And just looking back a couple of weeks ago, for example, the travel restriction on China, that was something that was scrutinized at the time. But now when we look back, it seems to have been the right choice almost unanimously. We now see other countries kind of following suit, doing the same thing, imposing travel restrictions. And now we see the government kind of taking more action into small businesses, people who have been laid off right now. And a lot of people right now would say that there is a little bit of a conversation to be had, whether or not locking down cities was the right move, whether or not telling restaurants, bars, stuff like that to close for the sake of public safety was the right move. Do you think that that was the right move? I think that we have to remember that we live in a federal system so that it's not just what the president says, what the federal government says. Each individual state governor and mayor makes these tough decisions based upon the best things that will work for their city or their state. And so when the president sets the standard at the top and gives guidelines through CDC and his 15-day uh, 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 warnings uh, to keep Americans healthy, the, each state and each governor, the, each governor, each mayor, that the individuals in each state and city elect make the best call. And so I think that we are doing the best that we can in uncharted territory. We could have never anticipated this to this extent. And every day it gets better and better in terms of the response and in terms of what the government's on the, on the whole of government approach is doing to keep each citizen safe. I think that is an important point because this isn't a federal lockdown the same way, for example, in Italy is seeing right now where nobody is allowed to leave their house. Everybody is being kind of asked to stay where they are, whereas right now in the United States, there's advisories, as you were saying, a lot from the federal government. But when it comes to the more restrictive measures, such as lockdowns, anything like that, it is being done at more of a city municipality type of level. So I think you're right on for saying that because each state does have a different way of, first of all, acknowledging the problem that they do have in their areas. It's different no matter where you live right now, but also the best response to that. So I think that is the right approach to take. And at this point, too, we're in a crucial 15-day period, as we were saying, kind of where we're going to determine what comes next in this pro process. Do you think that the next step will be an escalation of those restrictions, or do you think we're going to start seeing a de-escalation? Well, I think the American people have to remember, as the experts, Dr. Fauci and the ambassador, uh, Deborah Briggs, have been saying, uh, the more testing that goes on in the country, the, the more instances of people having the virus are going to go up. So you will see an, an uptick because of detection. But that's a good thing because we'll be able to quarantine, we'll be able to minimize the, the, the danger and the threat across the board. But I think we're in a wait and see pattern. We have to take it day by day and week by week. And so after this 15 day period, we will look at the data, we'll look at the, what the experts have to say, and the government will then uh, act accordingly. That's just the same with the economy. We'll see how this, what the impact is. But we know, like the, as the president said, like the third, like the 30-day notice for no evictions and no uh, foreclosures uh, that came about through HUD, that ends at that at the end of April. If there needs to be a continuation of that, they will reevaluate it then. So that's what we have to keep in mind: be patient, be calm, and and trust, and and, and that the government is doing the very best that they can in these these trying times. And if we, if the government needs to escalate or de-escalate. Or, or, or change course, they will do so. But what, they're always doing it with the Trump administration with the best interests of the American people in mind.
I think that's good advice because even if you are critical of this president, Dr. Fauci has been in that role in the administrations going back to the Reagan administration. He knows what he's doing. He's a public health professional. He's been in this situation before. I trust the public health officials who are right now kind of leading the charge. Uh, so I think you're right on for saying that. But Paris, thank you very much for coming on and breaking this down for us.